gentil. Especially all you. It is one of our exams today. My one of the biggest one. We had three exams, two busy work exam, and then we have our body system, which is like clinical correlation, microanatomy, and physiology. And we stayed here at like until like 11, and it seems like we never left. <laughs> and it is currently like 5:30, so I'm gonna sleep in my car for a little bit, or like wait in my car before they come. They should be here in like five minutes, though. <laughs> It has been officially two months of dental school and here is an update on how I feel. Dental school is a lot, um, for sure, but I never thought, okay, actually the amount of content I expected is what I expected. I don't know, did that make sense? <laughs> the amount of content I am going over the past two months is what I expected because of this being part of the pipeline program. I just always heard the upper upperclassmen talking about how this is a lot, this is a lot. It's like drinking out of a fire hydrant and then everything, but apparently it's all manageable, which I agree with. It is manageable. You will still have free time, but that free time will sometimes feel guilty. Like you will feel guilty for having this feel free time. During like, even when I'm sleeping, like I sleep a lot. And sometimes when I'm sleeping, cause I'm tired, I can't have a restful sleep because I feel like I'm guilty, I'm so behind and everything, but at the same time, I need to know how to relax. But my same worries from my video before starting in dental school is still there. I am scared of not being the best dentist. Um, dental school is a slap of reality to you. It's freaking freaking I don't know if I mm, I should mm, use prettier words. Um dental school is definitely slapping me every day. This it is slapping me like really hard. But manageable guys but anyway <laughs> I understand why the requirements prerequisite <laughs> courses are like OCHEM <laughs> all these other hard courses because this thing is hard dental school is hard guys <sighs> but yeah so right now I was so focused on body system which is a course of three classes. It's kind of confusing. So it's basically microanatomy, physiology, and clinical correlation. So clinical correlation is like clinical like diagnosis that's related to the anatomy and not physiology and microanatomy we're learning. So if you're learning about the cardiovascular system, hypertension would be the um, clinical correlation. But yeah, that is one course kind of but not really but we take three exam in one so yeah so yeah so basically i feel like i'm taking like two two exam minimum every week so dental school is definitely not for the week <laughs> but at the same time, that doesn't mean that you are not qualified. It's all about the mental. I don't know if I have that right now. But yeah, that is how I feel. Uh, I'm so tired. I have to do so much stuff right now. So yeah, I. that's how I feel. Two months advice. I'll update you guys in a month. Oh yeah. 
before I update you guys in one, apparently this month, October, is hell month for us for D ones because we have minimum like two exams each week. Like last couple months, we had like one exam every other week, but it's like that one exam with three classes, so three exam a week kind of plus like quizzes and everything. But hmm, this month, oh my goodness, I see it. It's like literally every other day we have an exam. Like, we no, every other day we have an exam or a quiz, but mainly exams. Mm -hmm, so good. But yeah. And then November is so chill. There's nothing in November. I am about to go. I'm just kidding. No, this is hard, guys. <laughs> Where's your nervous voice? <laughs> it was nervous. Uh, oh, that, that was all deep. <laughs> Where's the high pitched voice? <laughs> Is the bifurcation of the um, mutual buckle a bad thing? It's pretty good. I filled it up. He filled his ours too. He filled yours up. Look at this Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I wanted the vacuum. Mission <laughs> 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 just so good. They say it's good. I have no idea. Wow. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got my loops fixed so I can see I can see you guys do my loops perfect circle so this is a tip for you guys, especially all you Asian girls and Asian guys. But when you're buying your glasses, these cost 2K, right? Play with them a couple of times. You can bend the nose piece a lot. And another thing with um, cool optics, you can really bend the um, earpiece. So you can like bend, bend them. Like you can like, one second, let me see. Phone down here. So what you can do, you can really bend it. I thought you couldn't, I thought I was gonna break it, but you can. It will help it like stay on your face. And then make sure you have this like string attached to it. And then once you put it on, don't need the strap as much but you know it's better to be safe than sorry I don't know how I would like the strap on like under my hair or over it but for demonstration purposes so if you go like this you should see this one perfect circle before I was seeing like like this is your circle, right? And half of it was, like upper half was dark. So I had to change the angle of this or like the position of it, which I did and I'm really happy how it turned out. And then, yeah. So you would just see a perfect circle. I'm so excited. This makes it more official. Yeah, so I got two optics and my lights are from Lumadent. I haven't put it on. I'm gonna ask my friend to help me put it on, but yeah. So for all of you dental students, pre-dental students, incoming dental students, invest in a good loop. Cause like and also get a minimum of a 3.5 magnification. Because when I went to the loop fair on whatever day that was a lot of the upperclassmen were like back in it to get an upgrade from a higher magnification so that is saying something it is 3 I think he's gonna come to the bathroom.